Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense. And when last we left off, the squad have moved in on the first alien base that has been found on the planet. We need to take this base out, and that involves killing everybody that's in here, including the Cyberdisks that are most certainly a thorn in our side. And where is Awesome Possum, I hear you ask? Why, he's over here, an unconscious pile of soldier on the floor. He kind of got mind controlled, we had to take care of that situation very quickly. I believe everyone has used all of their time units in a way that I'm happy with. Yes, they have. Let us end the turn and see what happens. Any- ooh, there's an alien there, and an attempt at mind control. The attempt failed, which is nice. Now, we know that the alien is somewhere over here. Maybe we could get some kind of flanking maneuver going on, but to be honest, I just want to move the tank up and see what we can find. There are two aliens here, not just one, but two. Maybe we could do something sneaky, like for instance, firing a rocket over here and seeing what happens. Or we could just fire a rocket, we could fire a rocket over there. It seems like an idea just to take care of this alien. I think we'll give it a go. Do we want to use a very exact shot? No, I think we'll just fire a 31%. That did not do what I wanted it to. Why don't we fire another one? Over here. Now that took care of the alien. Albeit, we now have some minor damage to the tank. There being an alien there is a little bit concerning. We could move Barry up to take a shot. What's the worst that could happen, apart from the fact that he completely misses and then we're in some serious trouble? Let's move you over to here, shall we? I think you can take a shot. Excellent. That is a fine hit indeed. One alien taken care of. I'm not bothered about the uh, damage to the tank because uh, the tank can take the damage. We definitely want to... Well, we can't move the tank. The tank only has one time unit left. I want to explore around here quickly, because I want to make sure that there aren't any aliens over here. I don't think there are, which is encouraging, because I want to make sure that we're not going to be flanked. A cyberdisc flanking us is a terrible thing indeed. Let's move some of our soldiers up, shall we? We could move uh, Sub-Zero up to here, like this. You could have a quick look, and uh, you don't see anyone, which is good. Angel, you can move up to here. I'm being very careful with the fact that uh, you're hidden quite often, because I don't want you mind-controlled. Oh dear, you getting mind-controlled would be a huge problem. We're moving closer to this area, which was sort of at the beginning of um, the mission. We didn't go in this direction, and hopefully the fact that I didn't go in this direction isn't something that's going to uh, be costly. If there was an alien or something over there, I really want to make sure that uh, we are far away from said threat. I want to move you over to here, actually. Just very carefully moving people, bit by bit, not too far in any one turn. I think having a snapshot free for you at least is a good idea. It's quite likely that the tank is going to uh, take a lot of fire. Let's see just how bad the situation is. Okay, the tank is gone. Tanky the tank has done all that it can. The tank is no more. Something fired at the tank. We're going to find out what by going around this corner and turning. Okay, it's a cyber disc. We could take some shots. Will this be a bad idea? One, two, three. Not that I know of. I think moving is actually a good idea, because if we don't move, it's likely that the Cyberdisc is going to... No, I know you're saving for a snapshot. I don't want you to save for a snapshot. Not right now. Okay, Sub-Zero. Move over here. You can see the Cyberdisc. You can get at least one selection of auto shots. Take it out. Avenge the tank! Okay, you could not avenge the tank. But you can move over here and get out of the way, so that Barry can avenge the tank. All right, Barry. Sub-Zero failed. It's all up to you now. Avenge our half a million dollars that we spent on that tank. Marvelous. One dead cyberdisc. One less problem to worry about. I like that. That tank served us well. We cannot rely on that tank anymore to uh, take some fire for us. 
we are on our own. I'm a little worried about that. We could buy a new tank, though. We'll definitely buy a new tank at some point. Just not right now. Uh, 18, and it is 13, so you can crouch. Hmm. What do we want to do now? We probably want to move people forward. This place looks rather important. It's heavily guarded, that's for sure. Deacon, we could move you... I don't want to move you over to there because there were a lot of uh, enemies over there. At least there were two aliens. This door looks rather important. Gaston, we could move you over to here. That seems like a good idea. It's probably a terrible idea. We're probably going to pay for this folly with our lives. Angel, move over to here. Very carefully. Okay, I know snapshots are important to you, but we want you to move over to here. I think, however, this area can access... Uh, these caves, rather, can access this area where there is a, uh, a lift. I think we've done all we want to do. In the turn. We will avenge you, Tanky Batank! More mind control attempts, and they are not doing very well. Deacon is strong of mind indeed. We now need to actually move our soldiers forward rather than uh, any of our vehicles. Hopefully we can make up the money that we lost uh, from, this, uh, from this mission, mainly from that tank. We want to move you over to... Do we want to move you over to there? Probably not. We probably want to move at least a few people around so that we can make sure that there aren't uh, any threats that will hit us from this side. We want to move you lot through the here, though. Definitely. Just move through here. There we go. No aliens over there that I can see. Let's put you over here and make sure that there aren't any aliens that we can see. No aliens that we can see. That is good. Alright, this is always nerve-wracking. Going through uh, to deal with a, uh, a base is always nerve-wracking. I do not like it. It's always dangerous. Always dangerous. I feel like moving over here is important. I feel like getting ready to go into this place is important. But that will cost too many time units to go that way. Maybe if we move Barry over to here, we can see if there are any aliens nearby. I don't see any aliens. That is not a surefire way of knowing that there aren't any aliens, though. Alright, Sub-Zero, you're going to have to move over to here and crouch. We'll even move Angel up. Very cautiously. If there is an alien over there that will just take a pot shot at us, I'm going to be very sad. You have enough for a uh, snapshot. I hope you don't have to take it, but it may have to happen. Move over there, Gaston 2. We want eyes on this area that's full of cave. Well, I suppose it makes sense. They probably did literally uh, bore this place out of the, uh, the rock and make a crude um, layout for a base, and they probably left some of the areas that they didn't want to put things in just uh, as caves, with the weird alien plant life here. Do we want to move you over to here? We do want eyes on this corridor. We do. There is a dead alien there. That's good! I, I like the fact that there is a dead alien there. A dead alien there fills me with confidence that we might do this. In the turn. More mind control attempts, and they are not working. I want you to very cautiously open this door. Very cautiously. Go in. Ah, this is the control center. There is an alien right there. Take your shots. That was not good. Kindly run away. As fast as you can. Can you take some shots? If you stood there, you could take at least one. You've got to take out that alien. You've got to take it out. Okay, you don't have enough time units. You could do a snapshot. That was bad. Uh, can you move over to here? No. Can you move over to here, though? Not really. Okay, this is not good. This is pretty bad. We'll have you move over there, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, Deacon, you are doomed. That was a bad idea, moving you in. A bad idea. We could move you over to... No, that's not gonna work. That is a big gun. That is a very big gun. 
maybe if we move Barry over to here, he will have some kind of shot. No. Would he have a shot if we move him over here? Maybe. It says he does, but he has no line of fire. If we move him over to there, he has a snapshot. Do we want to do that? Do we want to crouch instead and wait for this alien? We could! It's a terrible idea, though. It's a really bad plan. All of this is a really bad plan. I get the feeling that uh, Deacon may be our first casualty of... Ooh. Well, we can access this area from here, as I thought we might be able to. And I'm a little concerned about that. But I don't think there are any aliens over here. You're probably in some serious trouble. We might as well move you over to here so that you can easily get a shot back. Should, um, should the alien go over here and just shoot you in the back? Deacon may be about to sing his final song. It says that you can shoot, but you can't. We can try. Yeah, that's pretty much what I thought would happen, but it was worth a go. All right. Hit a movement. Just mind control. That is not what I thought would happen at all. Are you still there? You're still there. Well, let's take you out. You were not the final alien, though. I could have tried to take that alien alive. It was not worth approaching that alien and uh, trying to take it alive. It was not worth it at all. But we are getting close to the uh, central uh, command area of this base. Mainly we can tell because of all the mind control that's trying to happen. But our soldiers are doing a valiant effort at uh, dealing with it. We want to cover both directions, because there could be aliens on this side as well. And that is where Barry comes in. We need to assault this central location imminently. We'll just uh, have you there. We do still want to explore around the base. There might still be aliens around. There, in fact, likely are still aliens around. But we'll keep people together. It's important that we keep people together and not separate them. There's still a fair bit more of the base to explore, mostly over here, though. Okay, we have you two. We could move you up. It's probably a good idea. Just in case there are any aliens that are going to sneak up around us. Because after all, this is no longer a guarded corridor. We're employing heavy amounts of strategy here. You have enough for a, uh, a snapshot? Excellent. We need to get you back with the rest of them. We could have all five of you there. I think you had a kind of launcher weapon, which is a little concerning. There are two types of uh, missile weapon that the aliens use. One of them is the small launcher. The other is the blaster bomb. We do not want there to be a blaster bomb. Okay, we don't hear anything apart from some doors opening. And there are no aliens around this corner. What about around this corner? Any aliens here? Ooh! We spot an alien through the window? That's quite good, because you can go down here and maybe get a shot. Let's see what you can do. 21? Ooh, close! Oh, a fire back! Fortunately, you're not dead. Fortunately, you are still alive. It's time for you to see if you can take that shot through the window. You can't take the shot through the window. Okay, can you move up? Not really, not to take a shot. You just need to run away. As oh, that's bad. That was another shot. Fortunately, your armor is doing a heroic job of dealing with uh, that alien. There we go, move over there. We need someone to uh, cover your retreat. Can you cover the retreat? Can you take a shot? You probably can't. No, no, you can't. We're not going to move you right now, and moving you is a bad idea. Then again, moving you could save Sub-Zero's life if this uh, alien moves up. We want right now to uh, cover this area quite quickly and see if there are any aliens in this vicinity. We might have already taken out the base commander. That could very well have been the base commander right there. And if that was the case, that means no more psionic uh, attacks. Still unconscious? Still unconscious. Thought I'd check. It's a big risk moving Sub-Zero out there. I hope it pays off. 
rather I hope he doesn't die horribly. I want to move you over to here, mainly so that we can put you in a position at some point where you can shoot. I want to move you a bit further forward. Not too much further forward, though. We want to very slowly get closer to this, uh, central area. We definitely want you here, though. Having you there does help. We're as good as we can be right now, and I just hope that, uh, what we have done is enough. We could, I suppose, move you up, but uh, having you actually face this way, good plan. We can't crouch you. Good luck, Sub-Zero! There was movement. And... did you run away? Why did you run away? You had the advantage there! You could have just killed us! Or rather, Sub-Zero, but you could have killed Sub-Zero! You chose not to. Instead, you decided not to kill Sub-Zero. I mean, I'm happy that you didn't, but I'm still very curious as to why. Why didn't you go for that shot? Well, I think it's time to move Master Chief up and see if we can find anyone. See if we can find that alien. With that alien actually being there, maybe moving down into this corridor exposed is a really poor plan, and it probably is. Move back. That alien is somewhere over there. Hiding away, being sneaky. Are you still down this corridor? You are not still down this corridor. You have moved. It's time to move uh, you up. There we go, just move over here. I imagine that you've actually gone over here and hidden away in this corner. That's probably what you've done. You've probably hidden away in this corner. We'll move Angel up. We want Angel to cover the entrance. Actually, that's a really poor idea. Do not cover the entrance. Do not cover the entrance to that place, because you know what will happen. Reaction shot. Boom! Rocket straight at her feet, and dead. Also, don't do that. Don't do that. We'll have you crouch and uh, keep you there. That's a good idea. And we'll have you crouch as well. Hidden movement. Doors opening. Nothing happening. Okay, where has that alien gone? Not there. It's always the last alien that you have to hunt, isn't it? It's always the last one. The one that you're just sort of, uh, trying to track down. Always that final foe. This is definitely the command center, though. This is where the, uh, aliens, uh, have the commander, typically. If the commander is still actually here is another question. We need you to move up. I know it's going to cost you practically all of your movement, but we need you to move up, because there is an alien somewhere around here. There aren't many aliens left. I'm amazed we haven't lost anyone yet. It's a small miracle that we haven't lost anyone yet. We'll put you over here. There we go, we'll have, uh... I think we should just wait. Oh! Something happened! I think what happened is that the alien tried to kill us. And Angel shot it. Okay, reaction shot success! I'll take it. Are you okay, Satwick? No fatal wounds, the armor doing its job wonderfully. Well done! Didn't think that you would be the one to, uh, to do that. This is always dangerous. And by dangerous, I mean that we are moving in to deal with this uh, command area. This is perfect blaster bomb territory. This is perfect blaster bomb territory, but I just have to hope that these aliens do not have blaster bombs yet. Certainly moved up here, just very sneakily moved up. I think it's safe to say that we can explore in this direction now. There are likely no aliens over here. Nope, no aliens that way. I think it's safe to say that we have dealt with them. Do we want to equip everyone with these. Sure, why not? We have enough soldiers. You don't have one, you just have a second laser gun. You just stick with the second laser gun. Seems like a plan. No blaster bombs? Just a door opening. Let's have a look inside and see what we can find. Nothing right now. I want you to use this as cover. I want you to use as much cover as you possibly can when we enter into this area, because this area is dangerous. 
and likely is empty, and I've been using all of this, uh, sneakiness for nothing. Just hide over here. No, I want you to hide. Definitely want you to hide. Can you reach here? You can. Just, just run in, hide behind these. It's perfect, uh, perfect cover. You cannot possibly get noticed. Also, are there any aliens over here? I'm a little concerned about the fact that I keep hearing a door opening and closing. There might be an alien over here. Just, just back up a little bit and see if an alien is constantly opening and closing this door. Might be happening. Could be happening. This is a disaster waiting to happen, but we have to try. Ooh, that was a shot. There was another shot. More shots. Okay, there's an alien here. Let's see if we can find it. Is the alien here? If we go up? Alien? Alien! Right, we have found the alien. There is one alien here. Can we get to this alien and try and knock it unconscious? Let's see what happens. We'll move up to the alien, like so. We'll move up, closer. And stun? No ability to stun. Do we have to face it? Excellent! One stunned alien! There are no more aliens in here! That could very well be the commander of the base. Which is good! The downside, of course, is that we now have another alien to take care of. Somewhere in this facility. We don't know where, but somewhere. There were doors opening. It very likely could be over here. But for now, we can quite safely leave this area. And then an alien appears out of nowhere and we die. I, I don't think that's going to happen. I think we're relatively safe, at least in this area. Because we took out the uh, person at the top with the stun rod. Is this alien the commander of the base? We don't know. But either way, we're going to leave somebody there just in case this alien decides to get up. It does happen sometimes. We may also grab the alien's weapons, so that even if the alien gets up, it won't be able to do anything. We have at least one more alien to take care of. We don't know where this alien is, so we're going to go and find the alien. I doubt the alien is in this location, but it might be. We just need to explore all the places that we haven't yet had a look at. And even though I believe the commander may have been taken care of, and thus we won't get any more uh, psionic attacks, we still need to be exceptionally careful. This place has at least one alien left in it. And as long as there's one alien, that means that we're still in trouble. We still have to deal with the potential threat of this single alien killing everyone. I'm going to leave you there, just in case there is an alien over there. Also, that was a brilliant reaction shot, Angel. Just goes to show that uh, armor is pretty good. Had we not have had that armor, we'd have definitely lost the soldier that was hit by the, uh, the edges of the blast radius of the rocket. Let's end the turn. We can hear doors opening, and yet it's not over here. It's unlikely to be in here, either. We should uh, unite everyone and get them all to uh, head over in this direction, to the part that we haven't yet explored. We know that there is a door opening. It's not likely to be this one. Then again, it might be this one. An alien might somehow be sneaking past Angel and opening the door. It's really not likely. Very unlikely indeed. No aliens down here. We'll have... Uh, Master Chief uh, cover Sub-Zero as slowly he advances down this corridor. It's quite a dangerous thing advancing down the corridor by yourself, but we, I think, are moderately safe at least over here. While I'm thinking about it, we should probably get rid of some of the weapons that this alien has. This is the Sectoid Navigator! Oh my, we have come across... Uh, quite a find here. Not who I wanted to find, but oh my, the navigator is, uh, let's just say that is quite significant. There are a few aliens that you really want to capture alive. One of them is a navigator. 
that was probably the commander. I didn't want to take the chance on the commander uh, getting some shots off and killing some of our soldiers, so I had to uh, get the kill. Oh, tanky, we will never forget you until we get a new tank, whereupon we will completely forget you. Anyone else need to move? You've moved, you've moved, you are just... I suppose we can get you at least in the room. Just stay there, crouch. You have enough for one snapshot. And I hope that's all we need. I hope that's all we need, and this is when Sadwig gets shot in the face. Could happen. Isn't happening, it's not, uh... The alien is not in that area. We'll have a look here, though. Here is not a nice place. Let us just leave. Let's just go. We need to catch up with the rest of the, uh, the soldiers. Alright, you're just, uh, going around here. Need to move you up a little bit. Ooh! We found an alien! There's an alien over here! Take some shots! That was good! One dead alien. There are still more aliens. I anticipated that there would be. So we need to have you over here. We need you to move as quickly as you can to catch up. There we go. Nice shooting there, Sub-Zero. Excellent shooting. That means that this area is quite dangerous. Also, we should probably move that out of the way, because uh, we're not going to be uh, incapacitating any more aliens. Even if that uh, alien that uh, we've knocked out wakes up, which I doubt it will, we could always knock it unconscious again. Okay, you want to move over to here. We want to make sure that we clear out this location carefully. Alright, any more reaction fire? There we go, no more reaction fire. We want to move you over to here. Carefully. You still have enough for a, uh, let's see, we move you there. We can't crouch you and have you have enough for a uh, reaction shot. But if we move everyone out, we can slowly but surely uh, gang up on the final locations that we haven't been to yet. This is a grenade waiting to happen. We have not yet got to the point where the uh, enemy aliens have grenades that they can throw to kill us. I think we have seen a few of them, though. We want there not to be a grenade here. Hit a movement. I think there is only one alien left. We just need to find this alien and kill it. Probably not over here, though, because over here is a large area full of uh, just caves. We'll have a quick look, though, just in case. Any aliens here? Any at all, apart from that alien that we just killed? Probably not. There could be one alien just hanging around. It's likely just one alien. The turn is so short now that uh, it's going to be just one. That alien is still unconscious. Good, stay unconscious. And you're going to catch up as quickly as you can, shopkeeper. How was Awesome Possum doing? Still unconscious? That is how good the stun rods are. I'm actually curious about... I'm actually tempted to go over here and have a look, and I really think that we should. This does seem like the sort of location where the aliens would be going. So we'll have, s we'll have Deacon move over here, and we will slowly converge to that area that I decided not to go to, to begin with. Maybe the aliens... There is a pistol that has just been discarded here. Maybe this is a good sign that the alien is in this direction. Could very well be! Let's have a check. The worst that could happen is that our soldiers die horribly. With that in mind, take a look. There's an alien! An alien with no weapon. Well, we'll shoot you. If we can hit you, we can hit you. And you were the final alien. Look at that rating! We got 1,004 positive, because we got uh, 12 aliens killed, 10 alien corpses recovered, 1 live alien recovered, loads of artifacts, we got 500 points for the base being destroyed, and we lost 20 points for the tank. That is sad, but it could be worse. We could have lost a lot of soldiers instead. We got two power sources, alien entertainment, we got loads of, and we got some alien alloys and some illyrium. We could 
do things, uh, ooh, look at this, all the stats that people gained. People gained quite a lot of uh, turn units, Sub-Zero gained four stamina, all pretty good. Let us uh, end the mission. And we do not have enough to uh, re-equip the, uh, the tank or the uh, rockets. To be fair, we did lose the tank. Deacon has become a sergeant. That was a phenomenally successful mission. Fantastically successful. There are things that we will need to sell when we are back, uh, back at the base, and we will do that as soon as we get back. There's a lot to sell. There we go. Insufficient storage base. You must sell off excess items. That's fine. We will sell off excess items. We're only very slightly over. We will sell absolutely loads of alien entertainment because we do not need anything beyond one. That should probably help. What else do we want to sell? Probably a few things, actually, but that will be sufficient just for now. Also, we want to go to base and we want to change things to five seconds while well, we just have a look at what's going on. We gained lots of things there. We also gained one live alien, a sectoid navigator, which we will have to research quite quickly. But not just yet, we got loads of money. Loads of money indeed. Nearly five million. We'll be getting more soon. We want to sell a few things. Let's see what we want to sell. We are going to sell the rifles and we're going to sell the ammunition and the pistols and the ammunition. And that was a blaster launcher. Oh my, that was a blaster launcher that we saw. We have at least one. That's worrying. That's very worrying that we uh, encountered a blaster launcher. What else do we want to get rid of? We have some Illyrium. We have sectoid corpses. We'll get rid of some sectoid corpses. They just take up lots of space. In fact, we'll also get rid of the Reaper corpses as well. We'll get rid of lots of things like that. There we go, they are gone, we have some more space. Can we purchase a new tank? We do want a new tank. And that will take up uh, six space. But we do want a new tank. We also want some more rockets, for sure. We'll just uh, get this many rockets. There we go. We are starting to run out of space. We may need to build a new uh, storage space, and we will actually do so. Let us build some more general stores. I think over here is sufficient. There we go. Ten days? Perfect. Do we have anything else that we need to do? That is slowly being built. Everything appears to be fine. The base was destroyed. The score for this month is going to be phenomenal. That's for sure. It's going to be ridiculous. We could also uh, do things like build a new facility. Maybe a new living quarters might be good. We probably want a new living quarter so that we can uh, get ready to uh, get more scientists and engineers when we need them. And more soldiers if we end up needing them. They're very cheap, it does cost 400,000 to uh, build it, but it's only 10,000 maintenance a month. We'll build it. Worst case scenario, we can always just get rid of it later, can't we? Yes, we can. And so, with the alien base taken care of and a fantastic positive score for that mission, when we come back, folks, who knows what will occur? Will we find more aliens? Well, it's kind of inevitable. We will find more aliens. It's just a question of when and how. Will they be landed or will they be flying and we had to shoot them down? Also, do we want to build another large radar station? I'll think about it, but that'll be for next time. And I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.